Hey, so what's up guys? Matt here with Droid Tech and it's been almost two weeks that I didn't make a video as I was in Japan and I just came home on Wednesday at 4am But anyway, coming back to today's video I have four cases from Element Case right here for the iPhone 10. These models are all priced from 159 ringgit all the way until 419. This is after the reduction in the 6% GST, which we abolish about a month. But today we'll be focusing on the Element Case Ref, which fits the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, as well as the iPhone 10. But right here, I have the iPhone 10 version because I have the iPhone 10. For my experience, these cases do the job really well. I'll be tackling one video at a time. So this video I'll be doing just the ref and then followed by the recon, the roll cage, and then finally the formula. Right now I'm actually using the formula, which is something I really love and it doesn't really break the bank compared to the Black Ops series, which I reviewed in the past. But that will be the last case which I'm doing. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so you can get notified on my latest content. So without further ado, Let's get right to the unboxing. Okay, so guys, we are back. And looking at this case, you might think it's very similar to the UAG Plasma series. Looking at the way the back plate is designed and the materials used, but it's not a whole lot similar as this boasts better drop protection, better shock absorption in case you do drop your device. So this case is available in clear, like the one I have right here as well as red, blue, and black. So let's take a closer look at the box. So at the bottom, you can see drop shock corner. It's more like an air pocket design, which actually absorbs the shock if you drop it on the corner. So you can see this is the ref by Element Case. And if it's a new iPhone, which is actually the iPhone 10, and you can see the Element Case logo right on the top. So taking a look at the side, you can see Element Case branding. So on the back, that's where the features of the case are. So let me give you a closer look. So you can see on the first one, drop shock corners. X-frame chassis and 10 over 65 high impact protection 10 feet 65 times and it's also dropped from a moving vehicle at 65 miles per hour as you can see that is pretty serious impact protection right there okay moving down we can see it's also military spec the proof so let's take a look at the case itself you can see it flips out pretty nice you can see the case right here the design is not exactly the same because they actually have their own patented design right here you can see the unboxing experience is pretty slick. Okay, so you can see the case itself, which is the only thing you get in the box. So let's take a look at the insides of the case. Let me move my lamp a little closer so you can take a look. So you can see nice volume buttons right there. You can see the insides of the case. That's where the drop shot corner is. Also on the bottom. And on the side here, you can see designed in California not sure whether the camera is picking that up a nice protected button cover for your power button and also more drop shot corners on all four sides you can see taking a look at the back on the bottom we get the element case logo in chrome right here see the design on the back is pretty nice unique as well okay so let's snap on this case to my iPhone 10 and we'll see how it fits so it's recommended to put in the volume button first so that's what I'm gonna do so Snapping it in is easy, just snapping it on just like a regular case. So you can see your Apple logo still shines through the sort of translucent back cover. See, it's a pretty nice fit. Take a closer look at the camera cutout. So you can see it's generous camera cutout. It's not going to affect or give any flashbacks when using the flash. Let's take a look at the cutouts at the bottom. You can see generous cutouts for your mic lightning as well as speaker port and on the left side you can see generous cutouts for your mute and ring switch and also tactile buttons for your volume the top nothing much and on the right side nice tactile button for your power you can see it works very well no problems at all volume buttons as well so this case actually feels really good in the hand especially i have big hands so as you can see, this case actually fits my fingers really nicely. I'm actually able to grip the phone a little better. And I feel more secure holding my phone right now as compared to using a generic case. As this actually prevents your phone from slipping out your hand. As this has raised edges, 
and also a nice place where your fingers can rest as well as your palm you can see fits nicely in the palm of my hand so what else can i say about this case except that i'm very impressed i didn't expect too much of this case as it is entry level element case it only costs 158 ringgit so if you're looking for a protective case for your iphone 7 until the 10th generation you can consider getting one of these. I'll leave the link in the description. So do check that out. Just a disclaimer that all these cases are given to me as a loaner. I'm, I don't get paid to do this review. I'm not given these cases free. As I have to actually return this once I'm done with this review. So that's all for this video guys. If you're interested, check out the description below. And if you already own one, leave in the comments what you think about this case. So that's all guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.